Okay, let's do a quick overview tour of the back end of your website and some of the tools that you have at your disposal. So if you have been issued your credentials to log in, your username and password, you can go down to the very bottom of your website and right here where it says staff is your login area. And once you do your, you put in your username and password, it'll bring you to the back end. And this is pretty much what you're looking at. You've got your own profile, so you can edit your uh, password information and different things like that. But starting in the top left, so you've got this series of menu, a series of menu items here, and these are some of the tools that we have to work with. So first is our media library, and this is where all of the documents, images, downloadable materials, PDFs, Excel spreadsheets, things like that that you want to make available either visibly or for download on your website. This is where these items will reside. And uh, so we can add new things by clicking here and we can go and find them on our computer or simply just drag them into your media library. Really easy to do. And um, so that is our media library. We can go and grab anything that we've uploaded from time to time. Uh, it's all right here. This is all your media stuff. Uh, web pages are all of these static pages on your website. So we can, we can bulk edit these pages. We can search for different pages. So if you have a lot of pages, you can just search here. Um, we've got a lot set up on this demo site right now. But um, you can see there's 80, 80 pages, and uh, you can scroll down. You can order them by date or by title, those sorts of things. So that's where your pages live. You can add a new page by just clicking here. Or up here in the top menu, you can add new media or a new page to your site very easily. The Web Design Phoenix theme, we'll spend a lot of time going over this. Uh, but this is where you set up different settings, different aesthetics, color schemes, your logo, uh, how you configure your website. And a lot of this has been done for you, but you may want to go in and fine tune some things from time to time. And this is where you find some of this information. So theme options, uh, general styling. So we've got some color schemes here. You can adjust colors for different parts and different elements on your website. You can edit fonts. You can adjust how your main menu behaves in a mobile environment, for example. You can change your header, your footer. You can look at different sidebar settings. Uh, and you can adjust your social profiles and manage your Google services. So that's all right there for you to check out. And uh, more videos down the line will get into greater detail We'll take deeper dives into each one of those. Under the Appearance tab, we've got really two items that are of most importance. The first is our Widgets tab, and that is this area right here. This, these are the elements that appear down in your footer and on different sidebars, things like that. Very easy to configure those, and there's a whole host of options you have here on the left-hand side. Menus are our navigation menus. This is where we handle uh, all of the navigation on your website. So there are some different options here and we can pull from pages and links and create a bunch of stuff and this is all just a big drag and drop that we can organize our navigation menus very easily there. Under settings there's a few general settings, uh, things about your website, basically the site title, your email address, and some basic basic overall global configurations. The media settings are have to do with the sizes of different presets for your images and different different entries and things like that that appear on your website. I would use this mostly for reference. I wouldn't go about changing these too often because the stuff that you've already got on your website will be thrown out of whack. <laughs> so uh, handle this page with care, but if you ever need to reference how large some of these certain images are, uh, you could certainly reference that here. And that is about it as I look at some of these other things. That is about it on the back end. So we've got our media library, your pages, the theme settings, some appearance stuff, which would be widgets and menus, which are very important. 
your profile and some basic settings. So this is our core website setup and uh, some of the tools that you have at your disposal.